joining me again tonight. I am Bobby Rivers, and welcome to Bedroom Buddy. A fun new show. On this show, we take three couples, single or married, and we bring them here to find out just how well they know the person they're sleeping with. As usual, three great couples. Let's meet tonight's Bedroom Buddies. Couple number one, Rory Miller and David Barlow. Rory, 32, a saleswoman. David, 27, a writer. They've been living together for one year. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Couple number two, my mom and dad. <laughs> Sue Freeman and John Hancock. Sue is 58, looks 50, a real estate investor. John is 67, recently retired. They've been living together for three years. <laughs> Couple number three, Bonnie Bailey and Gary Reed. Bonnie, 38, an office manager. Gary, 37, an art director. Married a year and a half. Thanks for being here. <laughs> you know how the show works. What we're going to do is show you three phrases which have been spoken of by your mates. Now, if you know which phrase came from the mouth of your mate, you shall receive a pillow. This cowhide pillow. You go with you and your Jack Palance look there. Okay, now the couple... The couple with the most pillows at the end of the show will be our best buddy for the night, and we will help spin you to the bedroom of your dreams where you will be steaming up the sheets in style, okay? <laughs> Let's get right down to it. Well, Bonnie, now you've known Jerry for a long time. Uh, do you keep any secrets from him? Well, maybe a couple. Could you spill one Well, out? I can, okay. yeah. Okay. When um, I was very in need of money and in living in Dallas, I modeled lingerie well. And, well it was it was at noon though it was at lunch time for business men <laughs> and that's all i had to do was just model the just underwear. wear lingerie for businessmen at high noon in texas yeah what's wrong with that <laughs> <laughs> all right the men the men told us some interesting details of their lives that they didn't think you ladies knew about and they finished the following phrase I'm as open as a hippo in a dental chair, but my little tooth fairy would rinse and spit if she knew that I sold my butt at a bowling alley, oh. mess with her mind while she's dreaming, or dressed in my sister's underwear. Oh. Bonnie, which one do you think your bedroom buddy said? Mess with her mind while she's dreaming. Did you say that, Gary? Nope. No, he didn't. Oh. Well, you don't have to yeah. Well, Gary, which one did you say? <laughs> well, I said that I sold my butt. Cigarettes. Butt. Cigarettes at a bowling oh. alley. Oh. I know that. Why didn't you say that? I was thinking the wrong butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got two choices left. Mess with, her, mess with her mind while she's dreaming, or dressed in my sister's underwear. Which one did your bedroom buddy say? Dressed in my sister's underwear. John, did you say that? I said that. Oh, he said oh, that. Oh, Our oh, first oh, fellow oh, in the night. Oh, 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 how do you remember that? Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. Now, John, why did you say that? I said that because way back in my youth, I thought it was going to be some kind of a fantasy. And, and this is you know, you have to go through these crazy things in your life, and so <laughs> I did that. You did that. <laughs> you had you. Oh yes. How did you look? <laughs> I was darling. <laughs> Rory. Rory, is there anything about David that bothers you just a little bit? Yes. Yeah. He's going. Well, until we started the show, and he went at the camera like he does all the time <laughs> i would have said no Never did but he had to remind me about that he'll be, we'll be walking by a store yeah. or a car with children he just thinks he's so cute <laughs> <laughs> all right ladies your bedroom buddies told us what quirky little habits of yours irritated them the most and they finished the following sentence sure she's my little heifer but i get oh. madder than a cow poke with saddle sores whatever my baby Wakes me up with salami breath. Clamps down on my hide. 
or takes a seat with the door wide open. Rory, what did your bedroom buddy say? Oh, he had to say salami bread. <laughs> David, did you go with the salami bread? I did indeed. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> David? But this requires an explanation. You see, yes. No I'm matter what Murray eats, it metamorphosizes once it gets inside. I mean, she could have filet mignon, but an hour later, watch out, the salami dragon's coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Uh, two choices left. Clamps down on my hide or takes a seat with the door wide open. Mm -hmm. Takes a seat with the door wide open. Jerry, did you say that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Jerry did indeed say that. You've got to tell us. No, there you go. What, 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 what is this? Is this <laughs> well, um... Taking the seat with the door yeah, wide open. Yeah, she takes the seat in the bathroom. Um, and, and doesn't shut the door. So, and I grew up, we always closed the door behind us. And, um, so after I married Bonnie, it was... <laughs> I would walk around the corner and, well, there she is. <laughs> well, everything... everyone does it. <laughs> I know everyone does I it, mean... but everyone doesn't have to see it. Well, that's, <laughs> that's true. Okay. <laughs> so, does John do anything special to get you in the mood for love? Oh, uh... gosh, yes. <laughs> he does. <laughs> you just became luminous. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does he do? Well... One of the things he does is he um, lights candles, lights, lights incense, puts bubble bath in the bathtub, and runs the water and says the bath is ready. Ah, <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. All right, John. Uh, the guy sort of what you ladies do that turns them on the most by filling in the following sentence. I get hotter than a jalapeno at harvest time whenever my spicy little taco clucks like a chicken, oils up my naked loins, oh! or bites my big bum. No! All right, Sue, what do you think John said? Oils up my naked limbs. Low Lo <laughs> your, 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 limbs? Your naked limbs? <laughs> or limbs. Or limbs. <laughs> Is it loins action there? It's loins action. John said loins. <laughs> there you go. Now, why did you say oils up my naked lens, lens, <laughs> loins? Um, because he likes to do that. I think we've got the, the love meister here, you know. Whoa, man. I'm buying that book when you write it. All right. <laughs> Let's go down to Rory. Rory, two choices left. Uh, did your bedroom buddy say clucks like a chicken or bites my big bum? Um, although I'm from Oklahoma, I may have a lot of chickens. I think it would have to be biting bum. Did you, did you, you're saying bum? Yes. Okay, did you say bum? Indeed I did. <laughs> and why did you say bites my big bum? Well, when she gets a hold of that thing, I start <laughs> making noises men weren't intended to make. <laughs> like what? I think 7.30 is too early in the evening for that sort of thing. All right, well, some cities will run it later. Oh, okay. we got a commercial. We're going to take a break and come back with more bedroom money. You know, Arsenio's thing is all about giving you the best first, right? Yeah! So is Thursday night going to be any different? I don't think so. Good call. I mean, Arsenio's the only guy who could bring you Arrested Development, hot off the charts, doing their brand new one, People Every Day. That song is hot. Plus, Pam Daubert from the Funny Flick, stay tuned. And Seattle Mariner, Ken Griffey Jr. It's a nice thing. Oh, yeah. And it's only on the next Arsenio. Arsenio Hall, tonight at 11.30 on Channel 9. Accept it. When you're in a, in a black hole, you won't see anything. Darkness. Everything was centered around drugs. And it hurt me. Living in New York, it's really rough to stay sober. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired of myself. I'm Roger Cohn from the National Recovery Institute Group. We've been successful in helping people build better lives. 
Call us now, toll free at 1-800-442-7623. Quick, for I have my family back. It's on now. The Huffman 2's 54th anniversary sale. Incredible value on quality furniture only at Huffman 2's, the Northeast furniture leader. Right now, you can win a million-dollar credit card at 7-Eleven, which you can use to buy pretty much whatever you want. Race here. 7-Eleven is also giving away Pontiac Grand Prix and trips for two on American Airlines. Here. Just win instantly or match game pieces to win, but the big prize is the gold MasterCard card with a million-dollar limit, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. But even more amazing is that while you get all the credit... MasterCard bill's here, sir. ...someone else gets the bill. Get your game pieces at 7-Eleven today. Steal from a moving railway train? It's never been done. Who could imagine such a thing? It's the impossible crime. Robbery indeed. The very idea. A heist so dare. Can you do it? I think so. But somebody just has to do it. Easily. Yeah. Um, I mean, not not real easy, but the smallest little thing. Like, I'm always, something's always moving. Like, my leg's always moving. Like it is now? Yeah. And she'll, sometimes she'll just go, okay, stop, stop. stop moving your leg. I'm getting seasick. <laughs> the, the women told us what annoys you guys the most, and they finished the following. <laughs> he throws when he sleeps without his special pillow. <laughs> Forgoes his favorite pastime, or gets bumped from the ladies' dressing room. Gary, which one does your bedroom buddy say? Sleeps without his special pillow. Did you say that, Bonnie? Yeah. Bonnie did say that. <laughs> Bonnie, is the pillow you just got as good as his special pillow? He sleeps sort of like uh, in a cocoon. Yes. He he has, you know, a pillow under his head, and then he has to have a pillow totally over his head, so it's barely his mouth. Very sexy. <laughs> All right, John, we got two choices left. Or goes his favorite pastime or gets bumped from the ladies' dressing room. Which one did your bedroom buddy say? It's bumped. For goes his favorite pastime. Did you say foregoes his favorite pastime? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what did you say, my dear? I said he gets bumped from the ladies' dressing room. <laughs> and why did you say that? <laughs> because um, he likes to go shopping with me. Uh -huh. He likes to go in the dressing room while I try and watch him. <laughs> David, is there anything you would like to change about Rory? Yeah. Like what? When we're in the car, saying, you know, in traffic and you need some rowdy music on to, to deal with all the energy that's making you go, Arr! you turn on rock and roll and, and say it, you know, some rowdy songs playing, Rory will start singing it with the voice she learned from musical theater. So she might go, <laughs> The ladies told us what they would most like to change about you guys, and they finished this phrase. I'd be happier than Imelda Marcos at a shoe sale if my wingtip wonder would only stop Cramming his face with food. <laughs> Snatching my wool at night. <laughs> or dumping his wet woodies all over the house. <laughs> Jamie, which one did your everybody say? Snatching my wool at night. <laughs> Miss Merman, did you say that? Rory, did you say that? Yeah. She yeah. said that. Could you, could you give us an, an explanation as to, to why you said that? He's a cover hog. I have an ulterior motive, you see. If I keep the covers close, I know she'll stay by me all night. Oh, they no! Are. <laughs> Let's go over here to Gary. Gary, two choices left. Grabbing his face with food or dumping his wet woodies all over the house. What did Brian say? Cramming his face with food. Cramming his face with food. Did you say that? No. Oh. Oh. What you doing, my dear? I said dumping his wet woodies all over the house. It's his tooth 
chair. Oh. So he, he picks his teeth very often. Yeah. And instead of throwing it away, he just stays wherever he was sitting, like on the side table uh, in the living room, anywhere he happens to be to put his teeth to. So you're in the bathroom with the door open yelling, stop no, leaving your right. wet booties all over the house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. John, yes. would you say that Sue is a passionate partner? Oh, yes. Uh, definitely. <laughs> She's grown up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ladies told us the most exhilarating place you guys have gotten passionate with them by finishing the following phrase. My engine was revving at red line when my rock-hard racing Romeo wet my little whistle. My hot spot on the floor, Whoa. or mounted the tower of love. Whoa. Love, Master John. Oh yes. Uh, Which <laughs> hit my hot spot on the floor? <laughs> did, did you say that? I said. She that. said that. <laughs> now, now tell us about the gray fox hitting the hot spot on the floor. <laughs> well. <laughs> he has some favorite places that he likes to make love. And uh, uh, one of them is the bathroom floor. Oh, <laughs> See, that's why you got to keep the door closed. <laughs> I'm glad they were here. <laughs> All right, let's move on down to David. David, two choices left. Wet my little whistle or mounted the tower of love. Which one did Rory say? Mounted the tower of love. Rory, did you say not to the Tower of Love? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and why? Um, it involves a recent trip to my alma mater, and the administration building has this really tall fort, and David said, have you ever been up there? And I said, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I haven't. Your alma mater is? Oklahoma City University, a nice Methodist school. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Do the Methodists know about this? Oh, not, not until they show it. Let's take a break so the Methodists can recuperate. We'll come back with more bedroom buddies. <laughs> Let the game begin. Summer Games. Look for details wherever you buy Budweiser, Bud Light, or Bud Dry. You could win a million in gold. The Dodge Factory Authorized Clearance. Get up to twenty-one seventy-five total savings on Dodge Spirit. Spirit list price as low as ten thousand four seventy after cash back. Dodge Spirit, preferred overall to Honda Accord in a recent survey comparing things like comfort, convenience, and performance. See the Dodge dealer nearest you for the new Dodge you'll want to put in your garage. If you have thinning hair, call Hair Club for Men for a free brochure and find out about Hair Club's non-surgical polyfuse method, which fuses carefully matched human hair to your own. It looks and feels natural. I wanted something that looked very natural and also looked very natural when I was skin and when my hair was very wet. Your new hair can also renew confidence and self-esteem and help to bring out the best of who you are. Enjoy the worry-free active lifestyle you've always wanted. Even when you feel it, feel around the perimeter of your head, I mean, you really cannot feel anything in your hair. It really gave me more ways to be able to do my hair and I could do it in more of a 90s fashion. No matter what the sport or activity, Hair Club for Men's non-surgical process will allow you to feel secure about your new hair. Call for our free brochure to see our various hairstyles and receive information about your hair loss alternatives. And by the way, I'm not only the Hair Club president, but I'm also a client. The foot is still going. We are back, okay, now... Back with John, who uh, I think the Kama Sutra is dedicated to this man right here. <laughs> now, we've learned a lot about the details of your relationships. What's going on way in the back of your bedroom buddy's mind? Let's find out. I'll ask each one of you a simple question. 
give me the correct answer, you got another pillow, okay? Gary, let me start with you. That foot still shaking, just like she said, okay? We asked Bonnie what would make her life complete. Did she say it was going to the Cannes Film Festival with you or waking up with a washboard stomach? Waking up with a washboard stomach. Bonnie, did you say that? Yes. She did indeed. You got another pillow. John, we asked Sue what her idea of a perfect night would be. Did she say it was a romantic dinner with you in the south of France? Or her singing solo at the Hollywood Bowl? The south of France. South of France. Did you say the south of France, Sue? <laughs> I said I wanted to sing, be the best singer in the world, so I guess that's the Hollywood Bowl. That's the Hollywood Bowl, okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh, that over a romantic uh, uh, time with him in the South of France. I have that all the time. Well, I guess. Well, I guess the bathroom would be free tonight, huh? <laughs> David, David, we asked Rory to describe her most sensual encounter with you. Was it the time you answered the door wearing just your black bikini briefs, or the time you went at it like two alley cats? When I answered the door in my little undies. Did you say the bikini briefs, Rory? Well, All right, ladies, now it's your turn. Bonnie. Bonnie, we asked Gary his fondest memory of you. Did he say it was watching you get crowned Miss Dallas Baptist College <laughs> or the time you grabbed hold of Big Buck in public? Um, well, surely it was Big Buck. <laughs> Gary, was it Big Buck? No, it was Miss Dallas oh. at the time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gary? I mean, she got a Big Buck in public. Who oh, is wow. Big Buck, Gary? <laughs> Gary, who is Big Buck? Big Buck is Big <laughs> Buck. <laughs> All right, Sue, you're next. We asked John to tell us his secret fantasy. Did he say it was... Making love to you standing on his head. <laughs> or going to a nudist colony with Tim Novak. Uh, probably going to a nudist colony with Tim Novak. Did you say that? With a young Tim Novak. A young <laughs> Tim Novak. That is true. Rory, we asked David what would give him a bigger thrill. Did he say it would be selling his first novel or making love to you while skydiving? <laughs> the novel. Did you say the novel? I did. Yeah. He did say the novel. <laughs> Rory, would it be a big novel? <laughs> it would be a blockbuster. A blockbuster. <laughs> we'll be back with more Bedroom Buddies after this. <laughs> steak to go with it. Sounds good? Better hurry. It's just $8.99 for a limited time. Pop quiz. Oh, no. Fire away. Which beer do you think is brewed longer? This one overall has better flavor. And the darker one. Oh. Bingo. Oh, of course, extra gold is brewed far longer than Bud. Seriously? Than Budweiser? 70% longer than Bud. Slow brews for that real beer flavor and color, the way beer was meant to be. Which may be why 58% of Bud drinkers prefer Coors Extra Gold. They'll make it 59 and 60. Coors Extra Gold. If you're missing real taste, beer is back. The gold, baby. The name says it all. What are you so happy about? Well, you know, I'm feeling pretty good since they replaced that old, dirty oil furnace with natural gas. Well, I guess it feels good to clean up your act, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, that is nice. But what's really great is the money gas heat saves, about $350 each year. Here they come. Natural gas heat makes our place so much cleaner. Yeah, and it really saves us money on our heating bills. To find out if gas heat is available in your neighborhood, give the people at Lilco a call. The spectacular Huffman Coos 54th Anniversary Sale is on right now. For generations, Huffman Coos has offered fantastic values on superior quality. During our 54th Anniversary Sale, save a bonus 5% on all charge purchases and a 10% bonus on all cash purchases. 
save on quality like Thomasville, Drexel, Lane, Bernhardt, and more. The Huffman Coos 54th anniversary sale is on now. Only at Huffman Coos, the Northeast leader in quality home furnishings and interior design for over half a century. Thanks to our home equity loans and statewide capital, we were able to add a playroom for Susan. 1-800-DIAL-CASH. Thanks to our home equity loans and statewide capital, we lowered our monthly expenses by consolidating our bills. 1-800-DIAL-CASH. 1-800-DIAL-CASH. For years, homeowners have been calling us for fast, simple home equity loans. I'm John Green for Statewide Capital. We make borrowing money easy, even if you've been turned down by the bank or have past credit problems. So remember, Statewide Capital lends money fast. Call 1-800-DIAL-CAP. Everybody's just taking here. All right. Are, are we ready for a climax? Are we ready for a better and better climax? Let us count up the pillows over here. Bonnie and Gary Reed have three pillows. <laughs> Sue and John have four pillows. <laughs> Rory and David have five pillows. <laughs> Any couple could win here, however, because this round is double or nothing, and it is entirely up to the guys. <laughs> Fellas, are you with me? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm as charged up as my Visa card at a lingerie sale when I think about me and my bedroom buddy mashing the mattress in Maui. <laughs> Pushing the pillow in Paris. Yeah. Or hugging the headboard in Hong Kong. Yeah. All right, Gary Reed, the man who owns Big Buck. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> All right, which one did your bedroom buddy say? Mashing in Maui, pushing in Paris, or hugging in Hong Kong? Well, we've always talked about going to Europe. And we do quite a bit of pillow pushing. So pushing the pillow in Paris. Bonnie, open it for me. Bonnie said Paris. They have doubled their pillows. They now have six. Okay, so far they're ahead. Not unless you said he's the white fox. The white <laughs> fox knows you pretty well. And I think he does. All right. John, what's it going to be? Mashing the mattress in Maui, pushing the pillow in Paris, or a hugging the headboard in Hong Kong? Oh, definitely pushing the pillow in Paris. Sue said Paris. Okay, David, I don't mean to put the pressure on you, but John and Sue are ahead. If you don't know your bedroom buddy well, we are going to help them on a little bedroom fantasy, okay? It is entirely up to you. Do you and Rory get to uh, have our help go into the bedroom of your dreams, or am I taking you to Denny's for breakfast? <laughs> Does Rory want to mash the mattress in Maui, push the pillow in Paris, or a hug the headboard in Hong Kong? David? What did Rory say? Oh, I think she'd probably like to mash the mattress in Maui. Rory, did you say Maui? Where's that Maui? Congratulations, Rory and David. We're going to help send you on a bedroom fantasy. Congratulations. I'm Bobby Rivers. Play safe with your bedroom, buddy. Thanks for being with me. Thank <laughs> you.